Jyoti Kumari rides one of the five bicycles she was given after her journey home to the state of Bihar made national headlines during India's lockdown. In May, the 17-year-old cycled 1,200 kilometers with her injured father sitting behind her. She'd gone to take care of him after he was injured in a road accident and was unable to carry on working as a tuk-tuk driver. Then the lockdown was imposed and with no money, they were forced to leave the city of Gurgaon. The landlord was asking for rent, saying, you owe a lot of money, so we thought, what can we do? Then I said, let's go home, and Papa said, we won't make it, but I said, we'll do it. With all public transport suspended, Jyothi bought a bike for $15 with the last of their money and they joined a group of people travelling in the same direction. Despite sleeping on the road at night for seven days, her father Mohan says they were the lucky ones. The people who were in more distress were the elderly, the people with young children, women carrying big sacks, young boys with blisters and this hurt us more because I thought these people will die before us. It was a lockdown which laid bare India's inequality. While the government asked people to stay at home, more than 10 million who'd worked in cities and states away from their homes were forced to walk back. Hundreds died on the journey. But warnings that workers might not come back to their old jobs didn't come to fruition. Despite feeling abandoned by the government or their employers when the lockdown was announced, many migrant workers have returned to the cities and to construction sites like this one. And that's because there isn't enough work for them in rural areas. Abhijit Deb Sharma decided to leave his home in West Bengal and travel the 1400 kilometers back from where he'd come. He managed to find work again as a laborer. <laughs> Everyone was sitting idle at home and there were too many mouths to feed. So I thought it's better if I leave because I'll get whatever work is going, food, and save some money too. But economists warn that with the government loosening labor laws this year, those workers who have returned are often in a worse situation than they were in before. So I would say as far as systemic change is concerned, it, we're actually, we've gone two steps back in terms of the role of the government providing protection, uh, even while we've seen a few temporary relief measures being provided. The government announced billions of dollars in aid to help those without work, but Abhijit and the Paswan say they haven't received any. The attention and money Jyothi received as gifts have also dried up. Now she says she just wants to finish school, but can't afford to. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.